Good morning, YouTubers, and welcome once again to the mess hall here at Dr. Jet Laboratories. I have not been working on the Miss Exide. I'm still waiting for one or two final parts to show up and for boating day. So um, that's taken a back seat whilst I finish this. This is Tiger, better known as the guitar from hell. This is the guitar that ate my mojo. Yes, I had mojo before I started working on this, and this took my mojo away. Why did it take my mojo? <sighs> because you have no idea how much work is into this thing. Um... The owner of this guitar wanted a finish that would breathe. And so polyester was out and lacquer doesn't last very long. It chips off and, and cracks and such. And a lot of guys like that relic look that lacquer gives. But I finished this with true oil. True oil is what they use on gun stocks. Anyway... This thing has well over 200 coats of true oil. Now, when you put true oil on, it goes on one or two molecules thick, and then you got to kind of buff it off with some 4 aught steel wool. And every time I think I'd have it finished... And then I'd hold it up in the light, and it's like, oh, oh, I need to get that spot. And this went on and on and on and on. And I kid you not, there's years in this finish. That's one of the drawbacks with true oil, is when you put it on, yeah, it's dry to the touch shortly thereafter, but... For it to get really good and hard, you got to give it time to set up. So there's a lot of time in between coats. So what do we have here on this Stratocaster? Well, it's like no other Stratocaster. Normally, a Stratocaster would have um, a volume knob and two tone knobs, a tone knob for this pickup and a tone knob for this pickup. I put all three pickups on one tone knob, and so you have a master volume, master tone. I do not have a normal strat jack. I use an electro socket jack here to take up room or save room and so forth. And quite frankly, with a right angle plug, it'll, it'll work real well. Normally, a Stratocaster has a five-way switch where you can get one, two, three, four, five combinations with three switches three dip switches toggle switches in this position it it turns the pickup out of phase and this position it's in phase so this arrangement here with just these three toggle switches gives it 27 different settings one of which is all the pickups off. But there are 27 different sounds. Now, some of the out-of-phase sounds are pretty thin and wimpy and, and useless, but they're there. So, it's got custom hand-wound vintage pickups, a Kaler, a Kaler Pro Bridge. This is a real nice uh, uh, bridge. It has a warmoth flame maple body, a warmoth um, African wenge neck with a slight V profile, stainless steel frets, an LSR roller nut, hip shot, staggered and locking tuners with these cool buttons. I like these buttons for tuning their much more precise than your little flat buttons. Um, 
I do not have a canopy co- or a canopy, a cavity cover for it yet. But you can see the wiring is actually fairly simple. You just have an on-off switch for each pickup in both phases, and then the rest of it's you know conventional, uh, a, a, a tone cap, and I used a pure tone multiple contact jack. I used my threaded inserts and stainless steel machine screw neck attachment system. And it's going to eventually get Goto strap locks. And the the Goto strap locks give you a little short screw. I have some two inch long screws that I use for the strap locks. And so I drill way into the body here. So when I put on the strap locks, they stay on. So this has been uh, taking me away from the Miss Exide project, but I thought you'd like to see it. Anyway, until next time, jet out.